So, without any further ado, I'm going to tell you the origin of Evangelion. At the beginning of the universe, there was a race. There was the first ancestral race, which were like, they were like godlike alien creatures called the Far. Hmm. Like, you know, like far distance, the Far. Yeah, I think I've read and about they created this. the seed of life. The seed, now a seed of life is basically a being created to spread life across the galaxy. Now, in the show, we see two examples of seeds of life, Adam and Lilith. Yeah. Now, uh, the different uh, each seed of life can essentially ch it's a conscious being it can choose what type of life at which it wants to create so Adam creates powerful beings that can decide its own physical form e.g. angels yeah. whereas Lilith created fixed form creatures hum e.g. Humanity. human humanity humankind yeah so the far sent the sent the seeds of life Adam and Lilith across the galaxy in a transport carrier called eggs or moons uh you see you know the moon in the earth the black yeah, egg thing? in the end of evangelion yes i'm pretty okay if i'm not wrong the black one in the earth is supposed to be lilith's egg and the moon is supposed to be adam i see um so um they're sent ac they're sent across the universe in these eggs to transport them when they get to earth so adam arrives Actually, sorry, let me say this first. The Spear of Longinus. They each got a Spear of Longinus as well as their egg to transport. Right. So, four billion years ago, Adam arrives on Earth and he's like, ah ha ha, time to make some angels. But before he can, Lilith comes crashing into Earth. And that's the first impact, like, I believe. Um, yes, yes it is. It's the first impact and it's the reason the black moon or black egg let's call it the black moon yeah. was in the earth because she literally whoop, straight in mm. don't know why adam managed to very nicely cruise up and land on earth but she just whoop, straight in destroying her spear of longinus in the process okay now the spears of longinus the reason they had these spears is because if in any case um two seeds of life ended up on the same planet they would fuse together and essentially become God, and they would be on par with the Far in power. Right. So the Far, as like a um, safety precaution, gave them the spears and were like, hey, these are weapons, just have them. But they were actually fail safes. So if two seeds of life ended up on the same planet, it would um, seal them away. Hmm. So. Because, of course, since um, Lilith... in End of Evangelion, Gendo's goal was to reunite Adam with Lilith. Yes, and make this godlike creature. Yeah, and of course, Ray stole the Adam embryo from Gembo, fused with Lilith, thus creating. You say Gembo? Oh, I... Gembo? <laughs> <laughs> I may have said Gembo. My name, on accident. My name is Gembo Akawi. <laughs> I abused my son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Gembo, no! Stop being God. such a bad father. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um. Go, sorry, what you were saying? Yeah, because obviously Gendo's goal was to initiate the third impact by reuniting Adam and Lilith, hence why he like fused the Adam embryo with himself. He obviously mm -hmm. was going to use Rey as like a method of also doing that, but Rey stole the Adam embryo, fused herself with Adam and Lilith, created the giant white giant Rey we saw in the end of Evangelion that, of course, used AV Unit 1 as the catalyst for the third impact. Yes. And she became that god creature that the Far feared so yeah, much. Yeah, and of course, just happened to take on the form of Rei on Ayanami due to, like, Rei's genetic material being mixed in, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. And also Karu was there for a bit as yeah, well. Yeah, I think that was more to do with, like, Shinji's wear down into yeah, agreeing to... Shinji's perspective on it. Yeah, because, of course... My thinking is, with, um, like, the, sh like, the creature we see, where it's Rei Ayanami and it's Karu and it's all... Mm. It's, I think it's supposed to be Shinji, or let's say Shinji's perspective, is perceiving God. Yeah. And I'm thinking it's more like your mind sees what it can comprehend mm. instead of it literally looking like that. Yeah. And and then... Sorry, go on. Yeah, because of course, like, we kind of see at very much its goal was to, like, wear down Shinji's psyche so he would let down his defenses, allowing it to fuse with Unit 1. 
because of course mm -hmm. like when he gets in unit one at that point in end of evangelion shinji's kind of like just acting on pure impulse and kind of letting unit one pilot itself at that point because mm -hmm. of course it awakens and it, it uses its angel wings kind of very metal yeah it just it, i'm trying to like god it really doesn't do a lot now that i remember and i've just finished reading the manga and we actually get to see a little bit more action from Awakened Ava Unit 1, and I can't really get into this without spoiling it for you. Whoa, 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 calm it down. We can do a manga podcast if you yeah. want, but... This is... Anyway. Come on, man, don't do me like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... I kind of just realised under... Because we see the Awakened Unit 1, still one of my favourite shots in the entire series, just like, it's kind of lingering there in the storm with Shinji just screaming into the void. And then it kind of just mm -hmm. exists, resummons the Spear of Longinus, the god being that Ray fused into comes, absorbs Unit 1, and bippity bappity boopity, you got yourself a third impact. That's exactly it. Um, I'll go. Okay, so I'll go back to what I was saying mm -hmm. with. So Lilith and Adam are on this planet, and there's, Adam has his spear, but Lilith has been destroyed. Mm -hmm. So Adam's spear, you know starts its protocol and it seals Adam away um, and that's why he ends up sealed in the Arctic yeah. and so Lilith is just like oh cool I have this whole planet to myself hmm. and she starts spreading her LCL and four billion years later we have Evangelion yeah. the you know humankind yeah like the backstory of Nerve and everything which was actually explained in the series and then we kind of get I'm guessing the next place to cover is the second impact yeah the the year 2000 yeah um Katsuragi and Masato and their whole team yeah. are in the Arctic. Um, you know, they discover Adam, and because science is science, they're like, we're gonna experiment on it, and which causes the second impact, yeah. which causes an explosion that almost wipes out all of humanity. Masato Katsuragi being the only survivor of the exhibition. Because she's so fucking metal. Yeah. Best character um, in the series. I'm not even going to argue with anyone on this. It's just a fact. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a bias towards so, purple haired anime girls, and it's not okay. So, skipping ahead another 15 years, you've got the original series, you know, Ava's Angels, Saving Humanity. Uh, we have our, you know, previous podcast. If you want to know more about that, head on yeah, back. There. We talk about how um, Shinji Akari expresses his friendship for Asuka in a not okay method. We talked about that, and we swore never to talk about it if again. So you know what we mean. You know what we mean. We're, we're not getting back into it. Just not again. Not again. I'm not strong enough. So something we need to talk about that's quite important is Sele. Yeah. You know the, the Illuminati s council that sits in the back and controls things from the shadows. They've been the whole time. pulling the strings, following the Dead Sea Scrolls, so they can achieve their goal of instrumentality and start the third impact on their terms exactly so you know the founding members of sele found the dead sea scrolls yeah and the dead sea scrolls are actually essentially like a manual slash prophecy prophecy made by the far which basically told them what the seeds of life are how to use the spears mm. of longinus and how and like how and why to start the second and third impact yeah obviously like um, um thus things led on to the creation of the Evangelion, so they had a way of like properly harnessing the spears of their powers for like their own means hmm. actually to be fair i found a very cool like when we talk about the third impact it's kind of hard to explain like because you think about it and you're like why would you want that hmm. but the way the third impact was explained in the dead sea scrolls is the, s the third impact is said to usher in a new stage of life evolution and existence hmm. Um, that would essentially cause a forced evolution on all of humanity. Yeah, allowing them to, like, let down the physical barriers and become one kind of collective being where they could just share all their thoughts and feelings without, like, the worry of what you kind of like sharing your thoughts and feelings in the physical form. Yeah, because basically when the third instrumentality happens, it dissolves every single person's consciousness every single living being's consciousness actually and fuses it into one yeah. and you know they live in perpetual nirvana essentially mm. in the weird spirit ball in space yeah. um however as we know during the original series shinji does a shinji yeah 
and you know he's like i'm not going out i'm going out kicking and screaming yeah. and essentially breaks the human instrumentality project and makes it you know optional hmm. so it's like and you know because he decides yeah nah this ain't it chief and then of course we get the sequence of av unit one kind of killing the uh god being ray turned into using the spirit of longinus to kind of half reset the third impact allowing it so people can return from instrumentality if they so choose and then unit one kind of just drifts around in space for the rest of time yeah pretty much and you know we get that you know the famous scene and shot of shinji and asuka on the beach yeah um i love that video i sent you <laughs> if you can put a clip in please do because <laughs> it's so beautiful i will but, leave um, the credits on... to the video in the yeah. description as well because it was just <laughs> um so you know uh we get them on the beach and as far as we know they're the only two human beings who actually left decided to leave human instrumentality mm. and um, the other thing is either way like, it's been often theorized kind of how long was shinji alone on the beach before like asuka eventually came back because like, you kind of, obviously, Shinji came back still with Misato's cross that she gave him before she, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll start crying if I talk about it again, but you kind of see Shinji did, got yeeted into the afterlife, that one. yes. You kind of see Shinji have made, like, a makeshift, um, memorial stone for Misato with, like, her cross nailed onto a fence post, and the cross has rusted away a little bit, so it does kind of raise the question of how long was Shinji on that beach for? Well, I'm assuming he can i don't know do because can animals survive in like well all, okay so all when i read this thing it said all living beings so all living beings were thrusted into the human instrumentality project i don't know if that means animals like does a fish have a soul mm. that's a whole debate yeah it's like what does he eat can he eat like does can he just drink lcl and be sustained see i was just... theoretically i feel like that might work in my brain, I've just got, like, an idea of Shinji going back to Tokyo 3 and kind of just, like, ransacking people's houses and getting what supplies he can to sustain himself, because, of course, like, food and everything would have just been left as is, because it was just, like, one second you're having a meal with your family, next second, oh, and now we're all just one collective being. Thanks, guys. Oh, nice. Uh, but, but, like, he is, like, the ocean has become LCO, which is the primordial goo that um kind of lilith used to create humanity yeah so i feel like maybe this like, there's probably some nutritional value in mm. that how much would you have to get paid to drink a shot of lcl this is a good question i'm doing it for free <laughs> just for the experience yeah just for the, i want to know what it, if it just tastes like blood it's like oh okay it kind of tasted gross but you know i mean maybe it'll you can be like you know yo, it'll do wonders it. for the in, you can be like, yeah, I did it, and that's something you can't say, nerd. It's like, I do it, and I just become hideously more. Oh, God. Like, you get the real-life proportions of an Evangelion. <laughs>